You know, I've lost track of how long Daryl's house has been going on. It's like, like 15 years. It was just my idea to use the internet for something that it had never been used for, which was entertainment. Nobody ever really had shows. I mean, it's hard to believe so much has changed. But when I was uh, starting the show, I was sort of a pioneer. So I decided, okay, you know, let, let me just do it in my house. Bring the world to me in my, the most intimate setting that I could think of and have no audience. That was the other important part. One of my first guests was Smokey Robinson. All I could think of was Smokey Robinson's in my house, sitting at my kitchen table. That's just the beginning. It went on and on and on. I had so many amazing episodes. It's the most exciting thing I've ever done in my life, if you want the truth. I'm just so happy to be doing it again. You know, the pandemic kind of shut it down. And uh, here we are, back in business. And we're gonna start today with uh, Glenn Tilbrook, who toured with Hall & Oates last year with Squeeze. So I know Glenn, love Glenn. He's a great songwriter. Man, this was fortuitous, you know, that, that you're playing here tomorrow. His songs are uh, surprisingly intricate. It's really, really complicated music that sounds amazing. And uh, so I got my work cut out, and the band's got their work cut out for me. Daryl's songs are amazing. It's funny going through learning the songs as I was yesterday. You realize what a lot of space he leaves. We are totally the opposite. We always fill up every space. There's something to be said for that, but there's a lot to be said for space too. I love that, it's a certain sort of beauty. What I usually do, Glenn, I mean, you could start, start it. Um, the, the vocals we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I let, let's just go through it and let's figure it out. Okay. I don't know what else to do. Okay. I'm a little rusty on this. We had Mark's second verse, but let's see how. Okay, it feels. well that's probably if we marked it that way, let's do it that way. Second I made I made you. Yeah, I, I'm the B section. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what feels good to you guys. All right. Do it that way. There's a starting point. Sure. For each verse. And let's see what happens.
Pretty good, man. Yeah, that was okay. Yeah. I like the first takes, man. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was 1989 when I realized that my career maybe wasn't going in the direction that I thought it was. And I had to think long and hard about what music meant to me. And I came to the conclusion that if I ended up playing in a bar somewhere in London, that perhaps that wasn't how I thought it would go, but I'd be happy doing that. And having that knowledge outside of where your career goes is, in, is an incredibly uh, strengthening thing. Because I will always play, I have always played, and we've gone up and down, we're, we're up again at the moment, it's great. <laughs> 